Hello again, everybody. It's Losers Finals time. Betty versus Luke. As uh, as we saw there, Luke narrowly uh, losing to Noah's laughter going up 2-0. Oh. Now he's going to have to fight against Betty in the Losers Finals to get his chance at a redemption match. Uh, I'm going to get these players started, and we will begin momentarily... are off. Oh, Betty building up dangerously in the center, hoping for a setup. It does not work out. Uh, and that garbage will steal it from her, unfortunately. Luke also playing dangerously in the center, but he's going to find his setup. That garbage on the right is going to be a problematic, though. He's going to need to find a way to deal with that. Oh, wow. Uh, wow! Finds a T setup! What a play! That was incredible from Luke. And uh, he's going to be rewarded for that with uh, a little bit of an advantage in board health here. But Betty quickly coming back and sending the garbage back his way. These two are just trading combos back and forth. Still some uh, high column 5 here for Luke to deal with. But both players roughly at the same height on the board. Luke with, I think, a lot more uh, simple setups to identify finds an amazing drop T. Forty-one to thirty-seven in virus count. Neither player with a significant advantage as of yet. Wow, Petty finds. A couple of combos in succession here. And he's gonna find another amazing L and do a drop. And another. Luke's board is starting to you're starting to see the effects of these uh, chained doubles that Betty's dropping with these big spires on columns one and six, but uh, the column one is gonna be dropped, and he has a horizontal opportunity if he can get these blues out of the way, which he will do. Although I would say that the ward health is squarely in Betty's favor at this point. Uh, 29 to 28. Um, if uh, Luke can convert his board into combos, then uh, that will help him a lot here. I think that is going to be needed. Although this is going to be an amazing quad that Betty finds just out of nowhere. Mostly just manufactured from her own mad genius, I would say. Luke kind of finds himself with a stuck setup here. He's stubbornly going to get this, uh, this doubles, but uh, yeah, it's going to end up uh, clearing things out, but he's still very high up on the center of his board. He really needs to start clearing this down. But he's going to find an amazing set of combos here. And things are going to start to look even once again as the momentum shifts in Luke's favor. Seven now looking a little uh, precarious for Luke, whereas uh, most of the madness on Betty's board is just of her own doing, and I'm sure she'll do something awesome with it at some point. Heyman saying, Dr. Mario really needs a garbage cancellation system. It does have a garbage cancellation system, it's called clearing. <laughs> The only way you're gonna you're gonna make it happen in this game. Wow, just a string of staggered combos from Luke here. But uh, as long as she gets a red in just a moment, um, oh, she does not take it. She's gonna manufacture something even bigger, and she's gonna turn this simple combo into a complete quad here. 8 to 19 in Betty's favor, but the board health uh, is a lot closer than it might seem, I think. Mm -hmm. 
Luke finding another double here. I don't think this is gonna impact any of Betty's setups, this garbage. Finds a nice double. Uh, the Luke will send a triple back in response. Column 4 is starting to look a little dangerous for Betty. She's looking for horizontal to bring this down. Not gonna take it just yet, but that yellow is gonna block it, and that's gonna make this for me. A bit of an issue for Betty. Does not take the red horizontal setup here. Wants to make a combo out of it first. Uh, takes it anyway, was not able to convert. Luke will do it though, and he's gonna send another double. Things are <laughs> starting to climb for Betty now, where she looked like she had a big lead in board health. Now it's uh, much smaller. She's gonna find a nice triple here though. Oh, I bet Luke sends a quad back. How can you compete with that? She's gonna need to start uh, converting some setups here and momentarily. She can't give Luke much more time. I don't think she can afford to keep making these big, grandiose combos, and I know she loves making them, but uh, I think she needs to make the, uh, the quicker doubles and focus on, you know, the tempo advantage you get out of that. That's what she needs now more than anything. She needs quick, dirty garbage that's going to cause an issue with his board and bury these viruses to give her any hope of winning here. Wow, that was incredible. An amazing from Betty. She's going to find another double after that. She really, really... <laughs> she just cancels it to get... Waiting so that she can get uh, the fat log here. And suddenly she's quite ahead. She's now only got two viruses remaining. And they're both exposed. She might actually make the comeback here. She's going to cover that over. And now she's going to make, make a triple out of it. And that will... Clear the way for her final virus. That's game one to Betty. I mean, they go straight into the next one. Uh, both players taking very different openings here. Neither one finding a combo just yet. Looking for a yellow-red. Wow, they both find two completely different combos at uh, com completely different places. Betty gonna build up high in the center to make a triple. But Luke gonna find a, uh, a drop cross on his right side. In that time, though, the, the garbage from Betty is going to block off the, the top left corner. I mean, at, honestly, it's not even that big of a deal. It's almost like a pseudo-umbrella that he has here at this point. But this yellow garbage will bring that down and block off the yellow. Oh, Betty's, Betty is just cooking now. She's just placing things just for the express purpose of making garbage. She doesn't care if she blocks anything else. The garbage in the tempo is worth it to her. Like she heard me. <laughs> she's suddenly finding these really quick setups. But she's still managing to make triples out of them. This is gonna be a quad if I'm not mistaken. And that's gonna be so damaging at the top of Luke's board. He's gonna try to make a horizontal combo here, and he does, but Betty is not gonna stop with the garbage. Taking a setup away from Luke. Luke is gonna sort of cut into the center of his board here. Maybe make a little space if he can find somewhere, but he's gonna have to block some things off if he doesn't get the right colors, so this is not a great situation for him. Meanwhile, Betty is just making her way down this board. Not a lot of options on Luke's uh, top line here. He's gonna find one now and make a double, but um, the only thing I can think is if she, he can make a, get a bunch of repeated combos and that fall in column one, maybe perhaps, and really block off this column one that's mostly uh, vertically oriented viruses before she has a chance to clear them. But uh, no, it doesn't look like uh, he's getting the garbage drops that he needs here. This is starting to block things up a little bit, but uh, most of the viruses are, are on uh, Betty's left side, and they're, for the most part, exposed. Wow, fuck, Betty finds a quad. Wow. Oh, he's gonna find a great setup 
And then the garbage is gonna give him a free double. This blue is now covered, but only by a single yellow. Oh, I... Looks like he's banking on a double yellow here. I hope that does not get covered up. That would be, uh... Or, rather, Betty is banking on a double yellow here. Oh, I don't know about this endgame. She is gonna get the chance to take this red out, and that's definitely a start. But that blue is the last thing she needs to clear out this game. Uh, that being said, Luke is not even close to finishing, so she may have the time she needs to just get through all of this. She's probably just gonna brute force clear these yellows away, and then uh, get one final yellow in there. Yep, and one yellow is all she needs to finish this out, and uh, I don't think Luke has any way to stop her. She will take the swag combo to finish it out. Game 2 to Benny. Once again, Luke is uh, facing elimination here. Both players taking almost identical openings. I love seeing that. Betty finding an amazing tea in the center of her board by tucking the pill in. Both players now starting uh, to look pretty even, coming into coming out of the opening here. Unfortunate red garbage for Betty. And another one is gonna fall, but not in the same place, luckily. Looks like Betty's just sort of sort of clear things out a little bit to try to get this L that she set up. But garbage is gonna make a combo for her. Just needs a red blue. She does find it, thankfully. That leaves her with some other setups to clear as well, thankfully. Uh, on the other hand, uh, looking at uh, Luke's board here, honestly, I think I would say he has the board health advantage at this point. Uh, things are looking much cleaner. He has just as many setups, if not more, than Betty. Uh, he is a slightly behind in terms of virus count, but uh, as we all know, that's not a huge deal. Especially if you can just keep rattling off combos and stun locking Betty like this. Betty just is not getting a chance to get anything going here. He's doing such a good job of continuing to find setups in this one. He's really started to pull ahead now. Yep, Betty continuing to just take the pills as they come. See if uh, she can find something here. She can just get a good stun lock going. As I've said, that's all one really needs to make a comeback. doubles are just gonna end up being a quad on Betty's side of the board as she continues to struggle here to make something happen. This is gonna be a nice setup that maybe open things up in the center a little bit, but uh, she still has a long way to go. Luke, though, not really making too much prog progress on his end either. Board looking a little awkward for both players, although I would still give Luke the advantage here. He's gonna send another two pieces of garbage her way. And again, oh, this is getting really dangerous from Betty. She's gonna find a triple. Make that a quad. Wow, could have been a five piece, but uh, unfortunately we don't count that high in combos in this game. And now uh, Luke now is starting to approach endgame. His right side is very messy looking, but uh, um, Definitely well ahead in terms of uh, board health, so 
Yes, but if Betty's gonna make a move, uh, she should make it now, as soon as possible. Starting to make progress on that right side. Betty's gonna need some pressure very soon in order to uh, prevent this uh, endgame from becoming too open for Luke. And uh, as I say that, she's beginning the stun lock. Unfortunately, it will come to an end on there. Uh, no. Yeah, Betty cannot let up on the pressure at this point. If uh, she gives Luke the opportunity to combo his way to the end game, then uh, that's going to be it's going to be way too difficult to come back from that. Very complex here. Wow, Betty finding an amazing triple set up there. And followed up by another double, starting to make the comeback. Suddenly her board looking very open. And another triple. Suddenly, Luke's gonna need to, uh, to step things up here. He's gonna have to find a sunlock of his own, and he certainly is doing that. 16 to 9 in favor of Luke, finding another. Both of these players finding insane triples and quads to stop each other here. But uh, Betty has an open combo, she is gonna take it. 7 to 7. Almost opposite uh, sides of the board for both players. They need to focus on in order to, uh, to convert and close this out. Oh, wow. Sweet T for Betty. Oh, blocks off the red in column 7. I don't think she meant to do that. But she is going to try to make the best of it and convert into a combo here. Oh, and that gets blocked off. And it's going to get blocked a second time with opposite dark colored garbage. That is not what Betty wanted to see. She will make a combo to try to stop Luke here. He is getting dangerously close to exposing here. Exposing his endgame. Betty's still finding combos half of the board, but it might not be enough. Alright, she finds a way to clear that out, but these viruses on the right are still incredibly buried for both players, to be honest, but Luke is definitely ahead in that regard. He is looking good here as long as he can just convert this endgame. A little more garbage falling on the double reds. Those are probably going to be the biggest issue here as the blue is now exposed, although that garbage will cover it over. Still finding combos, still finding ways to keep these reds down in the center of Luke's board. Stunlock continues, but I don't think that the garbage is falling quite in the right place, and she doesn't seem much closer to finishing out her endgame here. Oh, Luke finding some incredible moves. He's gonna clear the first of his two reds. And that'll be two. And then there was one blue virus. That red garbage is going to be very helpful for Betty. She can start... She doesn't have much time left. He is setting it up to knock it down. She needs column 8 garbage. She will not get it. And only a blue needed. And that's going to do it. Game 3 to Luke. Beginning the comeback. Alright, into game 4 here. The opting for speed. They both find completely different combos to open things up. Luke getting some column 5 garbage, but it converts it right into a cross. That was an excellent play from him to turn that situation around. Both players trying to navigate this opening. 
do think that Luke came out of it a little bit better here, but uh, both players relatively even know we're getting uh, a huge advantage here at the start. Both players pretty evenly trading combos and taking safety clears. Amazing cross from Betty. Oh my goodness, there's more and more stun lock. This is going to be so damaging, although Betty now has a horizontal setup she can take the combo back. But I can't say I love the state of her board here. A big pit in the center and uh, not much to do with it. She's now beginning to fill it in with whatever she can. This is not what you want to see. Luke is just going to keep the garbage coming. Betty needs to quickly find a way out of this. She will find a T to take the take the pressure off a little bit so she can get a foothold and, and try to get out of the situation. Finds an L. She's going to find another double here on top of that. But uh, I think she just got Charity comboed back at herself. Oh, that yellow-red in columns 5 and 6. Not the best, but she will find a way to make a combo out of it. And then a T. She is staying alive. Oh, and she times her doubles perfectly so that she can begin stun locking back. Nice triple from Petty. Wow. She's just finding combos left and right. Suddenly, things uh, are not quite even yet, I would say, but they're a lot closer than they were looking just a moment ago. Oh boy. Things are starting to look precarious for Betty yet again. She will take out her setup in the center, which will help quite a bit, but I would have to give Luke the advantage here. He's got a much more open board. His center's quite open. There's a lot of room to maneuver. He is ahead in the virus count, and Betty is just spending so much time at the top of the board. Even if she can get out of this, she will be at a disadvantage in the end game. But, uh, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's, it's her only path to victory. She has to just clear out as best she can and hope she can make this comeback. just trading combos, but Betty cannot be satisfied with that. She needs to take a, uh, a decisive advantage here to start uh, calling things back in her favor here. Wow, Luke having some trouble finding some combos. She may start to do just that. Luke will have uh, no opportunity here. Oh, the garbage would have blocked it, but it actually ends up charity clearing for her. T after T in the center, trying to find some way to keep things going. And to be fair, the board health on, on uh, Luke's side of the board is not looking so hot now. I'd say he's still ahead, but Betty is starting to find a way. You can definitely not let up on the pressure now. Finding another L. Finding another combo. This is just incredible. It's, it's just survival and, and combo finding solvings from Betty. Oh, and Luke is going to top out. I completely missed that. That's going to be game four to Betty. That's going to be the set. An amazing showing from Luke. That is not the way he wanted to go out. Uh, defeating uh, Snipe and then uh, falling to third place. An unfortunate to end for him, but what an amazing performance. He did so well against some of the best players that uh, the monthly checkup has to offer. So uh, he should be very proud. All right, everybody.
Betty wins, and you know what that means. It's time for the run back. Betty versus No Wizzle. Uh, winner's finals did not go Betty's way. We're going to see if she can make the comeback here. Uh, we're going to go into a bit of a break, but don't go away because the fin grand finals are coming up next. Stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> 